Hi guys, Shamian here. I hope all is well. I'm going to do a pineapple chow demo for you all. Uh, we cannot be Trinidadians in any way or Trinidadians and have uh, doing cooking or doing a food show and not ever cover chow. It just won't be right. So I have my three fresh ripe pineapples. They are really ripe, right? And I have my pineapple peeler slash cora and slicer in one this is a device that it does all three right i love it like a lot right for people with um for some reason there are people that are um sensitive to fresh pineapple only fresh pineapple uh it have people that they could drink the juice they are okay they could eat the canned pineapple they are okay they can eat the food cocktails and salad with the canned pineapple and they are okay but when it comes to having the fresh pineapple there's always an issue the tongue starts to scratch and the throat and some people swell and so forth and so forth there's an enzyme in the pineapple stem that causes that right so you need to be careful you need to make sure persons have no uh, allergies uh, to these things when you are going to serve it and I want you all to remember the correct way to handle food always I will get uh, into it as we go further into this pineapple chow demo right yes so you all didn't see me uh, peel it but I did right uh, so this is the last one to take out remember I told you all what tool is this I wouldn't uh, describe it again because I did um, I have some sea salt and pepper sauce and some fresh seasoning so I'm gonna start by uh, removing the uh, the pineapple from the core and all of that right I think it could be kept to do um, to do pretty presentation the shell of the pineapple or the skin once you use this device it's so it's really soft and kind of mushy right because it is fresh fruits fresh fruits behave differently to frozen fruits and so forth and so forth right so this is what you have this is how clean it comes out the only thing you might have to put something in there sometimes if the pineapple isn't as sweet because when it's sweet it's more delicate it does the the core the center stays in place but because this one is so sweet it, it came apart so it can be used for presentation and all of that right so that's when i get it out of um of it right you see with pineapple and thing you have to be very careful when you are transporting it right it's nothing to be alarmed about it is fresh fruits right there went my knife it's fresh fruit and you all know how these things behave right let me just get my garbage bowl my racial the garbage bowl is perfect i love it right so you all you know i'm a real cook i say that all the time i don't have time to kid you all and play games and so forth when i come to do a demo so you will get this is real life right you will get the bruising and so forth and so forth the slices using this tool is a bit thin, right? It's not as chunky as what we will get in the can, right? So we're going to have to use uh, wisdom based on that. We have to know how to slice it, right? So you see how quickly it's going by, right? I want to tell you all, when you are buying these things on the outside, be very careful. These things have proper way. All foods have proper way. It should be handled and set up for our safety to make it safe to consume there are a lot of things that i see not being done with street food and the like i'm not mashing up anyone i'm speaking because i have to talk the the truth as someone that deals with food even on the level that i deal with it on that we should um make sure it is displayed on ice on an ice bath right I sh i'll get to that as we come in down to the bottom of it a lot of times we know fruits we know fruits ferment that's what it do it 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 you know it releases these its own gases and so forth so if it's not stored properly don't expect too much from it and the lifespan of these things once it's open isn't too long right so there we have it right i'm going to start by making my seasoning for it i'm not going to use black pepper in this demo i'm just going to get what i don't want out of the way so i'm going to move my garbage bowl right and um, I will be putting pimento in it here is my mini 
processor. And it's perfect because I'm not, I'm not, let me move the shell and all of that also. Right? So, we won't be using black pepper on these things. And you see I'm wearing gloves, right? I was speaking about the, at the beginning of the demo, I was speaking about persons that have allergies with uh towards fresh pineapple right even sometimes certain veg and fruit scratches our hand it causes our hands and so forth to itch right there are little hairs and so forth in it but the enzyme found in the pineapple it's 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 uh it's serious business right it we have to, to do a lot of research and thing to see what causes what and like i said people with uh allergies and so forth they just have to be careful or not eat these things at all to the fresh pineapple right so the gloves is going to help with that if you have hands that itch and so forth when you are preparing certain meals i'll suggest that you wear a, play, a pair of food safe gloves the brand the one that i use is made of vanilla and not latex i don't want it too too garlicky so i'm just going to use a clove of two huge garlic i'm going to show you all how huge these garlics are i don't want it too garlicky it's a pineapple chow, it's not a garlic pineapple. You garlic. A lot of people don't like garlic, right? Because it leaves that strong scent of taste after taste in the mouth. Right? So that's about it. I am not gonna fuss. I won't be putting lime in it either because you all know lime kind of cooks things, right? So the lime might cause it to not be what I'm looking for. If you want to use fresh lime juice, by all means go ahead. The garlic is really fresh, no? Let me just see how far it's gone. It's perfect. I, that's where I want it at, right? So let me just get my, uh, my spatula to start. So I was saying you can put fresh lime juice or lemon juice if you so desire. I won't put it right. And I was speaking about this the street food, the uh buying and the consumption of street food that is not properly displayed or handled. Be very careful, don't take chances with your stomach, please. Please don't take chances with your stomach, right. So this is the last go. We're gonna put some pepper. The pepper is mild. It isn't hot or pepper. If you have kids and they have to eat from it, be careful with that also, right? The juices in the pineapple, I have some fresh juices in the bowl. It will help to dissolve the coarse sea salt. So I am using coarse sea salt, right? I just wanted to show you guys that I am, you can always add, and when you are using coarse salt of any kind, be it Celtic, Himalayan, or sea salt, or kosher you want to make sure that it's um that you use less less is more so i'm going what i'm going to be using to get it together remember i say it's my pepper sauce right it's orange in color you want to see it when it hit the bowl the rimkin is red so you can't really see it right it's very mild and flavorful so i'm going to use my salad uh utensils to get it together it's pineapple and we want to be very careful because it is delicate and remember I told you all that uh, because it is fresh and the core it it, it uh, what happened is it made it very thin very thin slices you all wouldn't believe how lovely the kitchen smells I know some persons locally use the pineapple skin to make juice and so forth I remember having it that way a couple of years ago well years ago like well over a decade and a half right they boil the skin and they make juice with it right if you want it really hot i will suggest that you use a scotch bunny pepper or a seven pod even if you if you are really ridiculous with heat and you love it use a scorpion or a chocolate pepper congo pepper if you if you can handle it like that i can't pepper when it's too hot it does something to me right so this is how easy it is to make any chow. This method I use here, you can make any chow. Be it pumarak, 
Pam City or Pam City as I will say, not here, but you know Pam City, you can make it uh, using anything. I saw Portugal chow, there is mango chow, there is a, uh, I love Julie mango chow, love it. There is plum chow, any, any cherry chow, with chow, cucumber chow, tomato chow, with chow, the, 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 your imagination is your only limit when you are making chow, okay? That's the only thing that will limit you. You know, in America, they might consider this not a chow, but more of a salsa or pickle kind of thing. Once you put salt and thing in it. I'm not putting sugar in it because remember, pineapple is sweet, okay? So I'm going to show you all how to have this safely, how to transport this safely if you are going anywhere with a baby beach or to a family day or if you're having it at an event. If you are doing something for someone, a pineapple chow or chow of any kind, I'm going to show you all how to have it on the ice bath, okay? So the ice bath method, you want to get like party ice, what we will call party ice here, or chip ice in Trinidad or the Caribbean, right? This one takes a lot longer to melt. I happen to love the shape out of all of the party ice, right? It's thicker than the chip itself right you get it in something that can keep temperature this is like a metal baking pan i have here right you can use your tools to soup just use wisdom and you want to put it like this because the ice is going to stay longer to melt in anything like this if you think about the, the material the shifting pans and so forth they are metal right and you want to have chow displayed like this the bowl should be deeper i'll be honest with you but this is how you want to see chow, any chow displayed, if you have to buy it and consume it. In the tropics here, we are going into danger zone, we're purchasing our food and so forth, when it's not properly prepared because we are in really hot, hot climate, right? Because the ice is a bit circular, it's just jamming around the bowl, but you all see, we are now sitting perfect there right you this is what you want to see if you have to support any child person don't buy it if it's just sitting at regular temperature room temperature or to suit the atmosphere or the weather that we have don't buy it first to begin with you don't know how long it was there right and i want to tell you all now quickly since i'm on this if you go to an event and they have food don't take home any of the food food have a lifespan a short lifespan of three hours three hours even if it's properly handled and so forth when you are done with leftovers even if it's hot get it into your refrigerator don't make any excuse and so forth leftovers must be refrigerated when it's hot right so i just want to cover those things with you all i just want to pick up that bit of a uh, liquid that i'm seeing there but yeah so this is it right you if you are transporting if you have a cooler put it in a bowl that could take the transportation okay or Get these little guys, these sandwich size bags, right? Put it in it and same thing. But you will need a cooler to transport it because obviously this is going to run off your eyes before you reach your location. I can guarantee you that, right? So I'm just going to uh, put it in my tasting glasses, right? This is some cute little tasting glasses that I have, right? And this is about how I am going to serve it here. Also, take out your utensils all the time also out of your food once you are finished preparing it. Don't leave any utensils in it and don't try your best not to use metal in pepper sauce of any kind. Just try your best. Refrain from that. If you can't, well, you can't, but refrain from doing that as much as possible, okay? I'm going to show you all in the, in the bag. Here I have my little tasting forks. It's going to go absolutely gorgeous and cute with my chow right so you all saw from start to finish how easy it is you all saw that i kept on my gloves because it is pineapple it's going to show you all using one bag an example of how you can transport it to your location okay all this is pineapple juice remember not a drop of water was added right so you can imagine how nice that sauce chow sauce is right To transport it, this is what you want. 
get it into your cooler you close it up and you rest it on your ice bar but of course put more ice on it because you want it kept properly this is just a rough example because i want you all to see but put cover that in ice right you're not going to drown it in ice because you know sometimes the cooler isn't too new the ice will run off and you want to make sure your bag is sealed properly so no water can get in there to interfere or mess up the taste of your chow okay too much salt isn't necessary either right so guys it was my pleasure as always i'll be with you all in the form of a next demo pretty soon if you all want to see me do certain things comment below as always the business is on instagram under the name food by Shamion. uh we are on facebook under the name food by Shamion. we are on youtube of course our channel uh food by Shamion. and the email address for the business is food by Shamion. c-h-a-m-i-o-n at gmail.com that's how my first name is spelled right so i'll be with you guys soon um take care until i see you bye